Hey everyone, this is the second part of our tutorial about uh, simple downloader and parser written in Python. So, in the previous video I told you that we will figure out how to download binary files. So, what we can do is actually create another function and just copy paste it, because basically for binary files you will use the same URL open method, but we can do it uh, much better by specifying some parameters to this method. So we're going to set it up an image name which is going to be a default parameter with the value of an empty string and if is if it's an image. So if is image equal by default let it be false. So after you got the contents you need to check it out if is image so if it's true then what do we need we need to open a file so let's create an image file open uh, let's give it a name the name is going to be the image name and um, we need to specify the mode in which we're opening the file so it's going to be right binary now we take this image file, we write to it the contents that we have downloaded and also don't forget to close this file which is also really important. <coughs> so it's much simpler, it's really nice, it's, we, we keep it short. So and now we can proceed to the, to the parsing part. So let's create another class which is going to be called um, XKCD parser because this parser is going to be specifically made for this website since different websites have different layouts and so on and so forth. So this class will inherit from the downloader class in order to have access to the download function. Also don't forget about the short specification so it's a class um, for parsing xkcd xkcd.com cool so let's let's go to the website and let's see what do we have here we are on on the front page and um, what are, what do we actually want to do we want to get um, these pictures and the titles and the captions and also um, I thought of making two, two functions one will retrieve the most recent comic the current one which is on the uh, home page and all the others like a random one like picking a random number and downloading a random comic so you can achieve it really simple because we know that all these comics they start with the first one and they go on and on until this number pay attention here so what we're going to do we're going to extract this number so actually <coughs> there are um, two methods to do that oh, there are many more but basically we're going to use two methods we're going to use the lxml library and maybe regular expressions because let's see if you want to see the DOM of this web page like I am using Chrome, so it's really easy. Just right click, inspect element, and here you can see the DOM. Like we have different divs, different IDs, and then images, and so on and so forth. So let's highlight this part. Oh, it, it highlights the whole one, but okay. Mm -hmm. Aha, here it is. So this is where we, we found this block of text. <clears throat> so um, what I'm suggesting, like taking this number and searching it through the DOM, because there can be some non-visible places where you can find and extract much easily this number. So if you want to check the source code, you can right click and view page source or just click Control U, Control F, and here is the number and there is this is the single place where we can get it but for the lxml uh, for the um, parsing our web page with the xpath it's not really convenient here because look we have an um, ul 
it's a list and then we just have some page breaks which isn't quite the best thing that's why i would suggest like using regular expressions here um so okay let's do it this way then so let's create this method get um get last comic number okay good don't forget to import the regular expression module which is called re and is available for anyone mm. so um how how should we make it like there are several <laughs> We used to do that. Okay, so let's do it like that. Let's just create a here a local variable. Like let's call it last last comic number. Or let's search for what we're going to search for. We're going to search for this HTTPXKCD la 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 like that. And after that, we know that we're going to have a digit. So it's um backslash d plus which and well preferably i usually when i'm using regular expressions i'm using the raw strings so what we're saying here is that we want um one or more digits and after you perform the search you will get an object which which is going to be your match or you'll get none and in order to get the string you'll group it um in order to get um the number instantly you can use group one so if we're if you're saying just group with uh, none arguments you will get like the whole string like http la 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 xkcd.com slash the number and that's it but if you specify group one then uh, it will search oh, miss Cousy. it will search for the exact for the parentheses so uh, the parentheses are helping uh, method of um, extracting something with regular expressions uh, i'm not sure if i'm absolutely clear here <laughs> okay but there is one thing if you are going to use group one then you can get an error uh, you can get an exception because if it finds nothing in the dom then your script will stop working so it's much better to do it like that and also what we'll get we'll get actually a string with this number not the number so let's convert it to an int and if something goes wrong then we get an oops then we get an accept let's set mm, last comic number to none or to minus one i don't know as you wish yeah okay so in this part i showed you a little bit about regular expressions i think we won't be using them so much because it's not really mm, convenient to parse the dom with them but sometimes you need to and you need to know at least the basics of regular expressions so meet you in the next video we will go on with downloading and parsing